yep you saw the thumbnail this was actually a good update today we're going to be looking at the latest amd driver 23.7.2 and test this out on our competitive games and we're going to be using our rx 6700 xt paired with the 5800 x3d and we are using an external pc to do all recording so there is no performance loss all specs are in the description and likewise boys all our benchmarks here have been repeated multiple times until we have reach consistent results let's start off with call of duty modern warfare 2022 and let's start off with the synthetic benchmarks here we go synthetic benchmarks and this is against the previous driver and it seems like we our results here are more or less the same maybe it's like starting strong well they're actually really close apart from the 0.1% lows um, we are using more RAM in our latest drivers and VRAM is more or less the same now. Our 0.1% low is now catching up. I think this is really close. Uh, let's go to actual gameplay and see if there's actually any difference. Now, EMD has mentioned about anti-lag and we'll test that one out there as well. So, here we go with anti-lag turned off and we can see in here that it actually has improved in our latest driver look at that one boys we have better one percent lows and 0.1 percent lows compared to the previous drivers obviously this has anti-lag turn off so we'll probably check out anti-lag turn on um yep we've got we are using more ram in this guys and gpu power using more gpu power as well but let's move on to anti-lag turn on okay here we go anti-lag turn on and you can see right there that our 0.1 percent lows is actually much better compared to our previous driver and actually on the frame times boys look at the frame times i think it's much more consistent like less less of those micro status in there in our latest driver compared to the previous driver we are still using more ram in here uh vram is like a bit less well they're really close but the main thing in here is that we actually get better results with our latest driver so i think this is a good one for the latest driver let's compare anti-lag turn off and turn on on the latest driver and oh look look at that one one percent low seem to favor the anti-lag turn off but let's see in the later part of the video in here yep it's catching up and you can see in here boys that the micro stutters is obviously well this uh, it's i don't know you could probably well it's it's there you can notice that in anti like turn off that's actually slightly better just slightly all right okay let's move on to our next game apex legends so as always we're going to be testing in 1080p competitive settings here in apex legends as always starting out in the firing range with some smokes and some effects in here seems uh, they're pretty close in there okay let's see with heavy action scenes if okay here we go here we go yep looks like our latest driver is probably slightly more stable and let's see with still shots in here they're pretty close i think it's slightly well yeah they're pretty close let's um yeah less ram usage uh v less vram usage as well there not much difference in here boys let's move on to our next game fortnite and once again in fortnite we're going to test out all three apis dx12 dx11 and performance mode let's start off with dx12 and see if there's any difference on this one okay here we go we're starting really strong in here with dx12 uh we're not gpu limited uh we're using a slightly less ram okay here we go the results uh at Thing, the previous driver is actually better in terms of one percent lows in here i mean we are edging out on average fps oh it's catching up boys it's catching up so i feel like the previous driver is probably much more better in here let's see with some landscapes in here yeah definitely slightly better on the old, old previous driver in terms of one percent lows let's move on to dx11 okay here we go dx living competitive settings once again see how this one turns out on our city scene 
a lot of graphics in there a lot of action in here a lot of buildings so yep it seems like it's uh yeah it's pretty close Look, looks like our latest driver is indeed much faster in terms of average fps we are using less ram and less vram on our latest driver and we are getting much more higher um, FPS, average FPS, 1% and point, well, yeah, 1% lows and average FPS goes to our latest driver in here. So, yeah, I think this is a win for the latest driver. Um, let's move on to performance mode. Oh, yeah, we're using, definitely using way lesser RAM in here, boys, and lesser VRAM. Okay, let's move on to performance mode, and we know performance mode sucks for amd card so let's see if the latest driver has fixed this one okay here we go and once again we still have amd's problem with performance mode and that's our gpu clocks are still clocking really low and this is why we got terrible frame times in there terrible results i'm not going to talk more about this one we're probably going to alleviate this by manually tuning our minimum frequencies but if you're an amd card user do me a favor fill in a bug report for amd so they'll actually do something about this one fill this one up there's a bug report icon on the upper right corner of your adrenaline driver fill that one up there put the stuff in and send it to amd so they'll actually fix this on the next update all right now let's manually tune this thing and freak minimum frequency so we're just going to do it here gpu tuning set it up to 2500 minimum apply and we're good all right now here we go and look at that one boys our 23.7.2 drivers is indeed much better compared to the previous drivers by manually tuning our minimum frequencies so once again we are using less ram and less vram with our latest driver so this is actually quite good it's quite good quite good uh, look at that one yep higher one percent lows higher average fps let's see how we go with these landscapes in here definitely much better much better only about 30 percent gpu utilization in here look at that one boys gpu power is only at 65 watts and if this video has helped you don't forget to subscribe to the channel boys we only got 171 subscribers yes we're a pretty small channel so we'd love to grow all right and for everyone else who wants to look at all three apis i did it in here as well i think performance mode with the 2500 minimum frequency is just probably the better choice in here you can see that higher average fps i mean one percent loss is much lower compared to dx11 but the point one percent loss is definitely much higher so let's start the in there let's move on to our next game valorant and as always 1080p competitive settings and we're going to test out some runs and some heavy action scenes in here okay here we go and look at that look at that the point one percent lows is better on our latest drivers one percent lows is wrapping up on our latest drivers i think this is a good update for valorant don't you think look at that one boys less ram usage less vram usage so definitely really good less of both those ones and getting much more higher one percent point one percent lows in here let's see heavy action scenes yep let's try it ah oh, there we go there we go look at that one we are much more stable in here look at the point one percent lows and one percent lows favors the latest driver so i guess this is a win for the latest driver definitely upgrade to the latest driver if you're a valorant player let's move on to our next game pubg and as always we are using 1080p in here the x11 enhanced for our api here we go all right let's start off with some running shots in here side by side with the latest driver versus the older driver i think they're pretty close in here latest driver is using more ram vram is the same gpu power the same cpu is more or less the same how about we look at 
effects because yeah i'm really interested in effects because effects play a big role here PUBG. and here we go effects look at that one boys huge difference between the two i was just like throwing some smokes in here and this is something that i repeated continuously until you know see if this if this is just a margin error but actually no there's a big difference in here in terms of the fix so yes the latest driver definitely is a good update if you're a PUBG player and you're into like these heavy action scenes and effects so yes if you're interested in more of these driver updates don't forget to subscribe to the channel boys we do this oh look at that one put what the slows are really bad on the older driver but yes yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to be up to speed with all AMD driver updates on competitive games and if you're interested on our previous driver update video click this video right here and we'll see you guys over there